Hey guys, welcome to my guide on Sergeant Hammer. My name is Battle Cattle, and today I'll be doing an in-depth guide on how to play Sergeant Hammer. I'm going to be talking about her abilities and her talents. And I'm going to talk about positioning, uh, good tactics, gameplay, all that kind of stuff so that you can be a successful Sergeant Hammer as well. She is on the free rotation this week, which is February 12th today, no, February 11th today. So uh, go check her out, and hopefully this guide will help you out to be able to play her better. Okay, we got matched up. So, Sergeant Hammer, Rexar, Sylvanas, ETC, and Li Ming on my team. Zagara, ETC, Lost Vikings, Muradin, and Nova on the other team. Um, that team looks like it's going to keep me on the run. Uh, as Sergeant Hammer, I like to just kind of sit down and shoot stuff. Uh, but if the other team is on top of things, they're not going to let me do that. So, they have a Zagara who can uh, bring her little pod thing down. I've never actually played Zagara, so I don't know the name of it. Um... ETC will jump in there, stun me, do all that kind of stuff. Lost Vikings, um, it just depends on if they're good or not. I don't know if they're actually going to be good. Muradin can jump at me. Um, I hope he's going to be focusing on our ETC and Rexar instead. And then Nova will just be a pain because Nova is always a pain to deal with. All right, so I've got three abilities. Spider Mines right here. It basically... Uh, we'll throw mines down that when an enemy gets nearby they'll jump up and run after them and hit them and it'll slow that person down uh, the concussive blast this is my escape so if I do concussive blast then it will oh, that was a pretty easy first kill it was one of the Vikings but come on um, so if I do concussive blast in a direction it'll push somebody back into actually a, quite a considerable amount of damage uh, and then my E ability is to go into Siege Mode or Tank Mode. If I'm in Siege Mode, I do a lot more damage. So, uh, you try to be in Siege Mode as much as possible. I see some Sergeant Hammers that go around and don't do that. Um, but that's not exactly how you should play. So, I haven't covered talents yet. Real quick on this first tier of talents, um, I typically go with Advanced Artillery. Uh, it increases the damage to distant enemies. Basically, if they are at the edge of my circle, it'll do more damage to them. So, um, that's the one I like to go with because people are always running away from me. So, they're always trying to stay at the outside of my circle. Uh, I've never gone with increased concussive blast damage. Um, just because I typically go with the um, increased damage at long range. Let's see if I can get him out of here. There we go. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Alright, and then uh, disabling effects reduced while in siege mode. That's not really that big of a deal because um, I'm pretty good at escaping, so I've never come across that as an issue. And ambush, stealth, and extra damage in siege mode. siege mode. This is the other talent that I typically go with because um, it's basically when you, when you go into siege mode, you immediately stealth. And it will allow you to basically jump on the enemy. Basically, you can position yourself in a really uh, good way and run away from the enemy. Oh, this is bad. 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 Oh, no. Okay. And the last one, I've never really gone with it before. Uh, gather regen gloves to help, in help increase health regen. It, it could be very useful. I just typically don't go with that one because I like the advanced artillery a lot better. So level 4 basic attacks heal you um, I wouldn't advise that one it, it, it could be good if the other team is laying down a lot of hurt on you but typically you're just going to run out of there instead um, then periodic, a periodically in base, empowers basic attacks against heroes so if you want to go the anti-hero build then you're going to do advanced artillery and this one or the stealthy one at the very beginning and this one um, both of which will make for good. Dang it, Muradin. I wanted to get that. It was all going to be fine until you showed up. Um, so I'm going to do that anti-hero build. And then increases basic attack range. This one, Maelstrom Shells. This one's really helpful for ones like uh, the uh, Battlefield of Eternity or Infernal Shrines because you can have a longer range so you can hide in the smoke vents and all that kind of stuff and shoot people as they're uh, trying to attack and they won't really know that you're there. 
Uh, so that one's really helpful. And then double the knockback distance of excessive force. That's just if you have a lot of people that are constantly... I saw Nova was right, right over there, so that was the fake Nova. Um, if you have a lot of people who are constantly up in your business and you got to push them back, that one can be really helpful. I'm just going to go with the focus attack for increased uh, hero damage on this one. Now, I want to go down there and help them. They... I don't know how much help I could be right there, uh, because there are just too many of the enemy down there at this moment. Um, yeah, I'm not going to let him get it. Now I'm going to run. Yeah, they tried, but I stopped them. Alright, get that healing fountain out of this one. Um, really, the only one I go with on this one is first aid, because you get damaged so much as Sergeant Hammer that you really have to heal yourself constantly. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to go with on this one because they do seem to be laying down the hurt on me as much as possible. Uh, so I'm just going to go with that one so that I can sustain a fight longer. I can stay in a fight without having to run away longer. Like if Nova pops out and starts attacking me, I don't immediately have to run away. Um, I'll be confident enough that I can stay there. Now hopefully this Viking is not going to come get me. Yeah, he's going to come get me. Put that right down there. Do some extra damage to him. See if I can deploy siege mode and shoot him a little bit. Alright, I got a little damage off on him, so that's good. You basically want to just keep deploying siege mode as much as you can and do damage constantly. Like, you're just a damage machine. Push him back and keep doing damage to him. Now I can first aid myself, and I'm going to get a kill on him. Now let's see if I can get him. Almost, almost, almost. Get him. There we go. Now I'm going to jet away. So I got two of those Vikings. Uh, that's, that's why I like to go with first aid, because it really helps with that. Um, now this next talent, I'll talk about it before we get it. I see people do blunt force gun a lot. I don't like that one um, because it's too easy to dodge. It's that big bullet that goes all the way across the map. You can direct it down different lanes and all that kind of stuff. It'll go all the way across the map and do a lot of damage to anybody who's in its path. Uh, I just typically don't go with it because it's too easy to dodge. If you know what you're doing, you look at the map and you can see it and you just walk away. Oh, they got it. Um, it's one of the Vikings, so he might not be as good at controlling it. Uh, Napalm Strike is the other one. We do need level 10. If the people could get EXP, that would be great. We do need level 10. Um, I'm just going to keep wailing on these guys. Because they can't do anything to me right now. Because uh, I'm back here. Nova tries to shoot me. She's not going to succeed. Let's see if we can get him. No? Alright, um, I'm just waiting for Napalm Strike. That one just adds a bunch of extra damage, and uh, it's great for minion clears and all that kind of stuff. Keep shooting him, shoot him away, and now I'm going to run away. Let's see if I can intercept that. There we go, we intercepted enough damage there. Alright, I got Napalm Strike, so I'm going to get my Healing Fountain here and Napalm Strike right there. Now, okay, he jumped away, he jumped away. So I'm going to go back into tank mode and try to run after him. Keep pushing this. They didn't really get that much benefit from that dragon, which is good. We kept him back. So uh, we're going to keep that momentum up. I'm going to go up top and get those minions because we need that XP up here. They have a Zagara who's been putting down creep, so I'm going to start clearing that creep out. Um, typically, the Zagaras will put their little creep tumors in the grass uh, so that people don't run over them. Uh, and shoot him randomly, but I'm just gonna shoot around and see if I can kill as many creep tumors as possible Because I don't want them having vision up here. I don't want them knowing where I am Because uh, it'll allow them to come gank me a lot easier. There's probably gonna be one right here. I Think I got one. Yeah, I got one and then right here. Maybe I got one there um, There No, yes, I got one Alright, let's clear out right there. Got that one, so now it's going to take a while for her to be able to put that much creep back out. Uh, I saw where that one went, so I'm going to shoot that one real quick. She's not going to get any benefit from that creep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because she's laying down the hurt. And put a Napalm Strike in there. Basically what Napalm Strike does is it will do damage when it hits, but also damage to an area. Um... So if minions stand in there, or if clueless people stand in there, then you can get a lot of damage on them. And I got that creep tumor right there. I'm pushing her back. I don't want her to have creep vision. So napalm strike right there. Shoot that, shoot that. 
Uh, if anybody pokes their head up here, I'm going to get them. Uh, see if I can increase my damage down here. Napalm strike right there. Can I get her? Can I get her? No, I didn't get her. Um, Alright, time to run. Time to run. No big deal, no big deal. Push him back. Uh, he just does not have the damage to kill me. Uh, by himself, he does not. So, I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Now, if I can position myself right here, I could do a lot of damage to him. No, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Okay, there we go. Um, basically, I got in there and I didn't have my Z ability, my thrusters, to get out. So, uh, that was why I died right there, because I thought I had Z and it only had two seconds left on the cooldown. Um, which was kind of an unfortunate timing thing right there. So, they've got top shrine. They're about to get bottom shrine. Sylvanas better defend the mid. If she knows what she's doing, she's going to go up there and defend the mid, but she does not know what she's doing. She would rather push minions and let them get the dragon, which is a bad decision. Very bad trade-off. Alright, I'm going to go mid. It looks like they're going to push mid again with the dragon. I think one of the Vikings has it, maybe. I don't really know. Um, I, I'm just going to assume one of the Vikings has it. Murden's pushing top. Uh, they're pushing mid with the dragon. Let's see if I can uh, lay down some damage on him. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Now, shoot that. Alright, we gotta go up top and get Murden and stop him. Um, no, he already knocked that down, so it's not worth it. I need to get these guys now. Uh, make sure that they don't do any more damage down here. I'm gonna do a uh, giant killer here, because I want to kill these heroes. They're putting down a lot of damage on our stuff, um, and I want to do a lot of damage to them. Alright, he's realized that I can do a lot of damage to him. Um, poor Rexar looks like he's going to die. Um, yeah, I can get all these guys right here. And now let's see where else I can do some damage at. I can help Sylvanas out with these just to, to hasten it up. She can get them by herself, but I want to speed up the process a little bit so that we can start fighting somewhere else. Um... All right, we're going to go up here and just back push them a little bit. They do have two tanks right here, so it's not going to work as well. I just need to get these minions out of the way and uh, make sure that there's not as much red on the map right here. Uh, they have a Viking pushing top. Um, I'm going to put that down right there and get them, get them. I got two of them. Cool. We got two of them. Now, I'm going to go up top and stop these Vikings because we don't want them to push uh, without contest. All three of them are up there. Uh, this could be bad. I'm going to try it out. I've got five seconds left on my thing. I'm going to put my slows right there. Alright, they're, they're just going to opt to run away. Yeah, I almost got that last Viking, but uh, not quite. But I did at least stop them from getting our towers and gates right there. Barely, but I did, uh, which is good. Alright, we're going to go up here and clear some of this creep out. Because we don't want them to have vision of us shoot these guys and remember the ones that are outside towards the edge of your circle will do more damage or will receive more damage from you so you're going to want to keep doing that up here i think the vikings are going to be coming up here soon maybe um now etc's got this so i'm going to just jet down here i'm going to see if i can cap this while they are distracted at a shrine um and it looks like it's going to be promising no no uh murden's going to den deny me of that so I guess I'm just going to keep pushing minions until the time is right. He's going to come after me again. Yep. So he's. we're just going to play Ring Around the Rosie here uh, and not be able to do much of anything. Uh, I will just keep laying down the damage on him because I can now move in siege mode. So I'm forcing him to make the decision of whether he wants to actually attack or what. And so I'm going to put mines underneath him, do some extra damage. I think I got this. I got this. I think I'm going to kill him. He's going to try to run away. Almost got him, almost got him. But he did deny me the dragon, which he succeeded on that. There's not really anything I could do. I did everything that I could do at that moment. Um, but he just had extra damage. Now, i got to get out of here because Nova might come after me. And I'm going to run so he can't stun me because I knew that stun was coming. Um, all right. So three Vikings and Muradin and Nova are all in mid. I'm going to get out of there. Li Ming is probably toast. Um, yeah, I heard Nova's ultimate go off, so Li Ming is done. Come up here and push back here. 
Um, and I'm going to come take the top shrine back because I don't want them to possibly get the bottom shrine. Looks like they're pushing it kind of hard. I'm going to put some mines up here in case somebody wants to come after me. They're going to have to run through those mines. They're going to get slowed, and then I just jet out the other direction. All right, we got that. Um, middle is still being contested. Lost Vikings. See if I can face tank them. I got one. I didn't get the others. That was kind of a bad decision. It was kind of a gamble. I had already used my Z, so I didn't have my escape route. Uh, hopefully ETC can get that last Viking. Either of them, honestly, would be nice for him to get. I don't think he's going to be able to. No, that one got away. Um, all right. Oh, ETC is in a very bad spot. He better escape. Uh, Li Ming's going to come help lay down the hurt. But they do have mid open right now. Nova is probably going to get that. Yep, somebody got it. And I rose... I don't know who that is. Rosewater. That's Zagara. All right, Zagara got it. So we do still have to worry about the Nova Ultimate while we are pushing against this guy. Good thing is, though, if we group up, then the Nova Ultimate will have a less of a chance of actually killing us. This Sylvanas, I don't think she knows really what she's doing. Um, she's wasting her Haunting Wave, and she's running through fire and everything. So she's not being that beneficial to our team. And down here, I'm going to come stop this dragon. I can move in siege mode now because of the talent that I picked, which I will explain in a second. I'm just trying to focus on killing this. Um, no, you are not going to kill me, Nova, because I want this dragon. All right, uh, get out of siege mode. So now back to these talents. This one, execution or deal extra damage to disabled targets. So if you have a lot of stuns on your team, this one's going to be great because it'll deal extra damage to people who are stunned or rooted or anything like that. Um, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, I did not have my Z ability again. That one, that one keeps getting me. Uh, it, it has like two seconds left on the cooldown, and I jump in there to try to uh, fight, but I don't have an escape. So that's a good thing not to do. Um, be more conscious of your Z because on this character you don't have a mount. And so Z is your thrusters where it'll increase your movement speed by 60% so you can run away. All right, so spawn two more mines. With this one, it's not very useful. Uh, honestly, those mines don't do that much damage. It could do a lot of damage, but it's really just not that useful. Uh, minions a lot of times will get those mines to go off and then you've wasted them because minions aren't worth that much. Uh, you want the slow to go down on the heroes. All right, so hover in siege mode. Move, move slowly in siege mode. This is the one that I normally go with because it allows me to keep pushing with my team without having to go back into tank mode and then back into siege mode. So there are those three extra, three or four extra seconds that I can um, be pushing with my team and be laying down the damage. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go ahead and use my Z because I need to get up here fast and stop these guys before they get to this, this gate. This gate is almost down, so I'm going to put down my... Uh, mine's also right there, and I'm just going to start blowing them up. So the other one, graduating range, decre it gradually increases range in siege mode. Um, that one is like if you're deployed for a long time, and the other team is just not touching you, then you're going to gradually increase your range. Uh, slowly but surely, your range circle will get bigger. Um, it's good to do if the other team is kind of ignoring you. Um, this team is not ignoring me, so that's why I didn't go with that one, because uh, I won't have enough time to actually let that build up. They're just going to keep laying down the damage on me. And then the last one, activate to gain a shield. I could have done that one uh, in this, this round. It might make me more survivable, but it won't necessarily make me be able to do more damage, which as Hammer, I want to do as much damage as possible to the enemy team. So that's why I went with Hover in Siege Mode, because uh, I can keep pushing. I can just keep up the push. All right, I'm going to go bottom and clear those out. I'm actually going to come over here and lay a napalm strike right here in the middle of those guys so that I can be doing damage to them. And, wow, they got that really fast. Really fast. Nova's starting to hit hard. She hasn't been killed in a while, so her gathering power stacks are probably pretty high. She's got 11.75 kills herself, which is not good for us. Um... All right, so he's going to kick me. I'm going to come over here and deploy back. Um, stop these guys. Just lay a napalm strike right there and then run off. Because my main focus is stopping this dragon right here. So a napalm strike under here and 
just keep following him as he tries to run away. All right, we got that. So it was one of the Vikings that was in it. Um, we're going to go back down bottom, uh, kill these mercs. These mercs are really bad for us. So put that right down there, push them back, put some mines in the middle, and now deploy in siege mode and just keep attacking. I'm going to go for Muradin because he's probably thinking that I'm going to go for everything else. Good. He had to run off, so that's a lot of good damage that's not there anymore on their part. Uh, Nova is right here. If we could get Nova, that would be amazing. Uh, I don't think she's going to put herself in that position. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. I, I got fooled on that one. That was definitely a clone. Um... I'm going to kill these things. Deploy in siege mode and kill these things flying here because they're chasing down Sylvanas and they can actually kill her. Alright. We barely saved her life on that one. Um, I'm going to join this team fight because they need the extra damage push. Can we get Nova? Can we get Nova? That was not Nova. Of course. Push him back. We got him. We got ETC. Poor Li Ming is down now. Um, Alright. Muradin is mine got Murden. That one is the real Nova down there. Uh, she thought she could fool me on that one, but she didn't. Sylvanas hunted her down. Good. She has no more gathering power stacks, so that's going to be a lot less damage coming from that Nova for us. Alright, back on these talents. So my level 20 talent. The reason I went with Nexus Frenzy is because it increases my attack speed and range by a considerable amount. So it increases the circle that I have, and it also increases the speed at which I attack. Uh, if I were to go over and hit the core right now, I'd probably be doing in the neighborhood of like 675 per second uh, from from my uh, auto attacks. Fury of the Storm, basic attacks, chained enemy mercs and minions. Um, it's not that big of a deal because with my napalm strike, I can clear them out so fast that I don't really have to worry about that. Now these guys are going to try to attack me, um, and I'm going to jet out of here but lay that behind me. Um, I have one second left on my heal all right i healed up because i need to lay down the damage in there now i don't have my z ability so i'm gonna have to get out of there sooner put down these mines here and i'm gonna deploy here and start attacking these things because these will do a lot of damage to our etc who is trying to stop the vikings now their etc is over here so i'm gonna lay down the damage on him if i can i'm gonna chase him down he's gonna come after me probably no? Okay. I guess he won't. Now I'm going to push him back, lay down the damage right there, and jet out of there. Dang it, I didn't get it. Um, a little AoE got me. Uh, maybe one of the minions. I didn't really see who exactly got me. But maybe Sylvanas can turn the tide of this. Uh, maybe. Get, get him. Now get him. Good, good, good. Get him done. Get him down. Get him down. There we go. All right. Now, Sylvanas is probably going to die because she already used her Haunting Wave. That's one of the things with Sylvanas is you don't want to use your Haunting Wave uh, in an attack because then you no longer have an escape. So, all right. Uh, now, this one doesn't apply to me because I did not take that talent at level 10. Um, the, the big gun repeatedly travels through the map. Um, so, it'll just keep going. Um, after it shoots down here, it'll go up here, and it'll go up here, and all that kind of stuff. Increased range and impact damage on um, Napalm Strike. It could be useful, but the thing is, normally when you hit that circle down on the ground, people get out of it too fast. So that damage, um, I don't know if this actually applies to, no, impact damage. Okay, so it could be useful. That one's actually a pretty useful attack. I just typically go with Nexus Frenzy because I like the extra attack speed. It's really handy to have. All right, lay down that Napalm Strike on him so he can be getting AoE damage. And I'm just going to keep shooting him. I'm doing 410, looks like, per second. I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy, so he's not going to be able to damage our towers much. He did get that keep down, but no more dragon for him. All right, I'm going to run here and try to intercept that. Whew, that was close. All right, lay down that right there and try to chase after Zagara, make sure that she can't come uh, is that our, is that their Nova, is their Nova, get her, good, their Nova is down for 63 seconds, which is really good for us, uh, I'm gonna go after their Zagara, she's kinda squishy, and I want her down, go eat, oh, that was, oh, she used Bolt of the Storm, I see what talent she went with, she knew that I was gonna try to go after her, so she sent her little, um, minion after me, I'm gonna kill these minions because we need that XP, maybe we can get a good level advantage on them. I'm going to go up here, get these minions up top, because we need that XP again. 
Um, they're going to continue to chase down. I'm going to continue to get this uh, XP up here because we need to get that level 24. Uh, we have about 26 seconds until Nova spawns and not that much longer until the rest of them spawn. So I'm going to clear out that. Shoot in there and get that. And now I'm going to go down here and get these guys. Another wave of minions should be coming behind them soon. There we go. Shoot all of them backwards. And we've got that one. So I'm going to go up top. Uh, I'm, a, I'm actually going to help them with that team fight. I'm just going to jet over there, use my speed boost, and go over there. We have 23 seconds. Let's start getting these camps. I don't know if these guys know this, but we should be getting camps. Um, wow, our ETC died to mercs. He was kind of desperate, and uh, he should not have done that. All right, I'm going to come in here and see if... No, oh, okay. Uh, this isn't looking good for us anymore. They've got two Vikings now, which isn't that big of a deal for them. So, um, we are at more of a disadvantage because we've got Sylvanas and ETC missing from our team. They've only got two Vikings, and those two Vikings alone don't do that much damage. So, they're about to come top, probably. And um, I don't know how much help I can be for Li Ming. Shoot right there. We need to get this catapult down. Because that thing's valuable. Alrighty. We're going to go up here. And Leeming is down. I can't go in there. Because by myself they will get me so hard. They have Nova and Zagara up there. Let's let Rexar come in here. Nova's right there. I got her. I almost killed her. Almost killed her. I saw her little uh, shimmer from stealth. So. Oh that's not good. Wow okay. Yeah. That ultimate is really annoying. Um, I mean, I know that it's kind of Nova's style, but I really wish she didn't have that ultimate. They are pushing hardcore. It looks like our game is going to be over now. Um, ETC doesn't have that much damage, so he can't really push back. They have a dragon and all of them down here. They, we need to get those mercs out really quick. That dragon is also really important. Ignore the Vikings. Ignore Muradin. Just kill that dragon if they could. Good, they stunned him. That's good, that's good. Uh, I have 28 seconds. I don't know if I can be any help before our thing falls. If we could have somebody down there clearing that out. I don't know where Rexar went. He's up there. No, we're game over. All right, so let's see. We did do a lot of damage. Their Lost Vikings were really good. I don't typically see Lost Vikings that are that good. So that was actually really impressive. Um, I got five kills, but I'm not going for kills. I was going for siege damage that time. So 73,000 hero, 187, almost 188,000 siege. Top EXP contribution by quite a considerable amount compared to Li Ming and ETC. So um, level 40 already. I already got level 10. It's going to be a long time before I get level 11, so I'm not really concerned about that. Back on here, our Rexar did really good at tanking. He only died three times, but look at all that damage he took. Um, Sylvanas... Like I said, I kept pointing out in the game she was not that good. Uh, she needs a little bit more practice. She died nine times. Still did a lot of siege damage and hero damage, but it was a long game, a 26-minute game. So she needs to practice on her escapes and all that kind of stuff. ETC, no kills, eight deaths. He wasn't really that beneficial to our team. He did absorb a lot of damage, but a lot of that, he died eight times. So a lot of that contributed to that. Li Ming, again, she was just so squishy. She kept getting into the um, bad scenes, and Nova kept picking her off a lot. So um, down here, Zagara, she did pretty decent. Uh, I liked her positioning. She was doing pretty good on that. Their ETC was actually more useless than ours. Um, their lost Vikings, again, were amazing. I've actually never seen Vikings that good before. 240,000 siege, so that's, that's really good. And 40,000 EXP. That's really impressive. So, All right, thanks, guys, for watching. I hope that this gave you an idea of how to play uh, Sergeant Hammer better. So tune in next time for another how to play video.